We're just waiting for the remainder of the cars. Oh, here comes, I can see actually Hughes coming down the pit lane now. He looks like he's going to start from the back, from the pit lane. That is Hughes in the Vauxhall Vetra there, the old star BTCC. He's got Plato written along the window. But that is car number five. Looks like he's going to start at the end of the pit lane. So here we go, it's the green flag lap. They're just going to head out to one lap. Oh, and Josh Ronchetti's got a problem in the Lotus Bullet. Josh Ronchetti's got a problem, hand waving out there. He can't get it started, there's a problem. Wave the yellows. Well, this is just the warm up lap though, so if he can get it started, he will still be able to take the start of this race. Go on, Josh, get that Lotus Bullet started. Big shout out to the marshals that running out on track to hopefully try and get him started. He's got a problem. There's a lot of smoke pouring out the front of that engine. Has it overheated? So we think there might be a fire underneath the bonnet. Marshals are... Don't think they want to open the bonnet. If you open the bonnet when it's smoking like that, you let a lot of oxygen in and if there is a fire, boom, it will go light up. They're bringing a the fire hydrant over. Let's hope everything's okay. So Joss gets out the car, Joss Ronchetti. Looks like there might be, uh, the car is smoking wildly underneath that bonnet. Let's hope everything is okay. So there we go, we're just making sure everything is clear. It's not often you get to see this, is it? We're not even under green flag conditions yet. It was the warm-up lap. Josh Ronchetti's Lotus Bullet would not start. It was overheating, there was a lot of smoke pouring out the engine. He's now been towed off, and it looks like we are about to go racing. Or are we gonna have, we might even have another warm-up lap. Let me just see. We've lost James Janicki. I can see uh, Andy Wilson there. He's gesticulating inside his car. If you could just pan down on to Andy, I think he needs to get going. 30 second board is up. He's overheating. Where is James Janicki, your man on pole position? And they are, they're doing another lap behind the safety car. We've lost James Janicki. We have lost your man on pole position. We did see somebody pull into the pits. This is a twist to the tail here. Oh no, what a shame. We lost Josh Ronchetti. His car would not start for the warm up lap. And it looks like we've lost your man on pole position as well. I'm just going to see if I can see him parked down at the bottom here. So Hughes is down the pit lane behind me. I cannot see Janicki, James Janicki, the man who was due to start on pole position in the blue Nissan. He's not there. Wilson is there. Andrew Wilson will now start as the man in front, technically second on the grid. Uh, he needed to get going. I think his car was overheated. We could see him just stipulating inside the car to the safety car. There is James Janicki just coming down the pit lane. That is the man you can see. It looks like he's going to start from the pit lane behind Hughes in the Vauxhall Vetra as well. I don't know if Leon could just maybe walk around and you can just see, you might not be able to see uh, Hughes. In fact, I won't ask you to, Leon, don't, don't worry about it. It's quite, quite a drop down there. But that is James Janicki down there. Car number 19 was due to start on pole position. 
So it looks like we're going, we're going to have a rolling start here. And away we go, and Andrew Wilson takes the lead of this race. With Robinson right behind him. What's going to happen into Paddock Hill Bend? And Wilson takes the lead through Paddock Hill Bend. Is everybody going to get through cleanly? It looks like it do. There goes Hughes as well. He takes the track in that box of Vectra. They're coming round Druids, and it's still Andy Wilson. He holds the lead here as they're coming round for old James Janicki. He's out of the race, I believe. So they're coming round Graham Hill Bend here on the left. And it's still Wilson, we're looking at car number 32 is right over there. Robinson's going to go try and take round the outside as they go into third season. Lots of smoke coming out of Robinson's car there. A car 69 has pulled off. The Audi TT has pulled off as well. What a shame that is. That is hand. He started in third place. He is out of this race. So look at it as Wilson powers down the Brabham straight, closely followed by Card, with Wilson all over the back of him. Oh, sorry, Wilson's out in the lead, so it's Robinson who's all over the back. So it's Wilson from Card, from Robinson, Waterman, Hainsford, Can, Griffin, Voice, Devereaux, Denwoods, Reynolds, Palmer, Beaumont, Wise, Abbott. So as they come back round, let's try and catch our breath a little bit. Can Wilson pull away in that monstrous hold? And that, uh, sorry, Monaro, off he goes. There is Car number 32, Car, keeping him honest in the silver. BMW there, but Robinson in the Falcon is all over the back of him. This is going to go right down to the wire. You can see the rest of the car pounding through. There in the Oxford Vectra. That's huge, and then he's on the grass. He pushed off onto the grass. Why is there in the Sierra? Keep not there when he get on Ding Dong. Hughes flies around the outside. There goes Wilson. There goes Carr. There goes Robinson. And Waterman in fourth place. Hainsford in fifth. There goes Griffin. Griffin's got himself up. Voice has got himself up. Can shot down to eight. There is Devereaux in 269. And we've got Reynolds, Palmer, Denwood, Abbott, Beaumont, Hughes, Wise, Kai, Bullen, Osman, Martin, Smith. We've lost Janicki. We've lost Ronchetti. We've lost Hand, Grange and Morgan Owen did not even take the start. So we have 21 runners out on the track here. Magnificent stuff. And look at Card, he is closing the gap on Wilson. So, Will, what can Card do? Wilson has to power down the straights. We saw it yesterday as well in a couple of the other series. He's really got the pace as Wilson. But Card is keeping him honest. Robinson powering through as well. He gets so close. But that BMW is so quick through the corners. You're going to see him closing the gap now as they head down into Paddock Hill Bend, up Hellswood Hills, into Druids. The long, tight hairpin there. Wow, magnificent stuff here, great racing. They never disappoint, do they, the Thunder Earth Boss cars? They really, really don't. The roar of the engines. We got a three-way fight for the race win here today, and we still got just under 12 minutes to go. We're only just started, really. So out. Oh, Bullen's in the pits as well. So you Bullen, car number 10, it has pulled into the pits. So the fastest man on the track, Andy Wilson, who's done a 51.597. Lots to tell you about Josh Ronchetti's car. Couldn't get off the start line. Plenty of smoke pouring out. Andy Wilson inherits the lead of this race. Because James Janicki has pulled out as well. Looks like a mechanical issue for him. There is your race leader, Andy Wilson. There is Card in second, Robinson in third. He's got a bit of a gap, but Waterman's on his own in fourth. Card number 49. And close behind him is Hainsford in that bright yellow Mazda. And of course, David Griffin, the Aussie, in the Diet Coke BMW. So you see them coming around, clear ways. They're coming on to the Brabham Straight now. A little kink on the right as they come pounding down. And Piers Grange, I've just seen Piers Grange going in the pits. I can also see a Morgan Owen coming out into the pits. They are finished, they are out of this race. So well, we've lost Bullen, Jinnicky, Rostretti, Hand, Grange. Morgan Owen, and we're only a few laps into the race. Andy Wilson, your race leader there. 
Closely followed by Card in second place in the silver BMW, River Robinson. Enough Ford Falcon pounding through the Cuba straight there. What a noise. There is Waterman. He's having a great race up in fourth, almost all by himself. Behind him, Hainsman. There's Griffin in the Diet Coke BMW. And we've got a battle on here, haven't we? Between Boyce and Hughes. They're going toe to toe. Hughes is going to try and go around. Of course, Hughes, don't forget, started from the pit lane. He started dead last. He's up to eighth place. It's only a matter of time, surely, before he gets past Colin Boyce there. And he's trying to go around the outside into clear ways. He's going to get a long, long run now. And he's flies through, doesn't he? The uh, old BTC Vectra there just has too much for him. And now he's going to try and close down David Griffin, isn't he? Magnificent driving by Hughes from dead last up to seventh place at the end of lap six. And Malcolm Wise in the Ford Sierra is going incredibly slowly as he comes down into Graham Hill Bend. The Sierra is going incredibly slowly. Car number 14, that is Malcolm Wise. He will be pulling into the pits and most likely out of this race. What a shame that is. And we've got another retirement for Fiesta pulled in. I can't see who it is right now. There's a Fiesta pulling in. We're about to lose Wise as well in the uh, Ford Sierra. So it's still Wilson, Card, Robinson making up your top three. Waterman in fourth, Hainsford in fifth, Griffin. In six, but keep an eye out for Hughes in the Vauxhall Venture because he's all over the back of him as they come down the main straight. And Hughes is going to take Griffin surely into Paddock Hill Bend, and it's an easy manoeuvre. And now he's going to be straight onto the back of Hainsford. How far up can Hughes get? Car number 16, I can tell he's in the pit. Smith, Smith is in the pits and out of this race as well. Car number 16, the Ford Fiesta. What a shame that is. We never like to see anybody go. And there is Hughes. He's going to take Hainsford down into Pad into Graham Hill Bend. Well, I'll tell you, Hainsford's going to have a little sniff back again. And he's going to try and make the move stick as well to go through Surtees. But now Hughes has the inside line to go through McLaren's. Oh, look. Haynes was trying to get the cut back, but he's not going to be able to do it. Surely now Hughes will pull away through clearways and onto the Brabham straight. So there we go. We're turning around now into Graham Hill Bend. You will see your race leader, Andy Wilson, just getting past Stuart Kai there in the uh, gorgeous Mustang. But it's just worth just being here for that, isn't it? There goes Card in second place, Robinson in third. Waterman in four, but Hughes is going to be hot on his tail now. We've still got over seven minutes of this race to go. It's absolutely fascinating stuff here at Brands Hatch. Magnificent racing there. Andy Wilson, still your race leader, but he's got quite a lead at the minute. Uh, he's got a 3.142 second lead over Card. Robinson in third. Then at the minute, there is Waterman. There is Hughes coming round onto the Brabham Strait. Hughes is closing the gap there. What a shame for Hughes that start the back of the grid. Because had he not, it would have been magnificent stuff, wouldn't it? Top three, Wilson, Card, and Robinson, looking like they're sort of moved into a bit of a uh, sort of in control, shall we? They never like to say that actually anything could happen in motorsport. We saw it yesterday so many times. And in fact, the battle now is Griffin and Hainsford as they just, you'll see them, Leon, stay right there because you're about to see Hainsford and Griffin come into shot. The yellow Mazda spitting fire out and the white BMW there. Terry Hughes just glides past. Oh, and where? what's happened here? I've got a change in the lead. I've got a change in the lead. I'm just trying to see. I'm looking mild, madly round the circuit. According to the sheet, Card has got past Robinson. Oh, no, and we've lost Wilson. We have lost Wilson from this race. And I can tell you, we've lost another. I think we're losing Abbott as well in the Capri. Abbott's going incredibly slowly. So it's all change at the top here. Card inherits the lead. Let me just confirm that for you before I get overly excited. We have, we've lost. Oh no, what a terrible, terrible shame that is. 
Card is now your race leader. Robinson is second. Hughes, Hughes is up to third place. He started last. He started in the pit lane, dead last. He's now on the podium, the Vauxhall Vectra. We've lost Abbott as well. Oh my word. We've got 16 runners left. We've lost Wilson, we've lost Abbott, we've lost Bullin, Smith, Wise, Janicki, Ronchetti, Han, Grange, Morgan, Owen. We started with 26, we're down to 16 now. What a shame that is. Andy Wilson is out of this race at the top two. Oh, we've got a spin of David Griffin spun. David Griffin has spun. Just coming out of Druids. He surely he can get it back going again. He was battling. He was battling with Hainsford. He's just spun out. We've got double wave yellows at the top. Can Griffin get it back going again? He's rolling down the hill. Okay, you're seeing the cars flying. I can tell you, David Griffin is just out of shot underneath the hill there. What can he do? We're just going to pan up a little bit. There we go. Let's see if we can see what can David Griffin do. He's tumbling down the order. What a shame that is. So James Card, your race leader. Let's get back on to the track actions, shall we? James Card, your race leader. Andy Robinson in second place now as it stands. For a huge, wow, magnificent racing by Hughes. Jason Hughes in third place. He started in last. We've got just over three minutes of this race to go. And Beaumont's pulled into the pits as well. Griffin is parked at the side of the road. It's Card, Robinson, Hughes. Hughes is the fastest man on the track. His fastest lap at 51.352. That is the fastest lap of this race so far. So where are the battles on track at the minute? Hughes has got past Waterman. Waterman's now down to four places, kind of out on his own in four. Beaumont's in the pits in that Ford Escort, the uh, green and white car. He is out of this race. Oh, wow. It's action packed, isn't it? I just don't know where to look next. Magnificent stuff by these guys. It's full of action. Don't ever let anybody tell you motorsport is boring. My word, it's certainly not here today. This is sensational stuff. So Card in control. He's got a 5.5 second lead over Robinson in second. Jason Hughes in third. Don't forget, he started dead last. It's time to run a pit lane. Waterman in fourth. Hensman in fifth. Voice in sixth. Can in seventh. Devereaux eighth. Reynolds ninth. Then Wood tenth. Then you've got Palmer, Osmond, Martin, Kai. And then it looks like uh, Griffin. Bullin is still out on the track moving up. Denwood's just got past Reynolds in that last lap for ninth. So Card in control. A minute and a half of this race left to go. You just saw him coming through your screen in the silver BMW he's coming through. Is this a bit of a battle? Is that Card 20 and 269? That's Cannon Devereaux. That's full position. They were by fighting. There is Hughes. He's going to just lap. Uh, Bullen, there. Bullen's still going around. He's going to finish 15th place. He keeps going in this race. That's a pretty strong result. And Stuart Kai. Mustang is making a lot of noise as it comes down. Paddock Lubert is still going at pace, which is good. So the big question is, is, is this the last lap of the race or not? Let's find out. We're going to move to the uh, start finish straight because Hand, I don't know if he's going to make it, make it to the end. Uh, sorry, James Card, rather. Is James Card, your race leader, going to make it? 15 seconds, 
14 seconds. He could probably slow down and make sure he finishes. No, and this is now the last lap. That was your race leader just coming through the stop finish straight there. Stuart Kai, that Ford Mustang. Beautiful car. So, James Card is on the final lap of this race. Your race leader, James Card in the silver BMW. We're going to stay. Just pan the camera onto the start finish straight. We'll leave it there for now because it is almost race over. Card, Robinson Hughes, Waterman, Hainsford, Boyce, Can, Devereaux, Dimmer, Reynolds. That's your top 10 here at Brands Hatch. I can just see James Card coming through round now. The backside of the circuit on the Cooper straight. He's coming around. You're about to see the silver BMW very shortly appear on your screen as the checkered flag is about to be waved. James Card, the silver BMW, the lights flashing. He takes the jacket flag and wins the CTC Thunder in Bossaloo Racing here. The race two. James Card, your race winner. There is Andy Robinson. He's going to come home in second place. And look at Hughes. He comes home in third. Magnificent stuff. You can't help but think, had he started at the front of the grid, he might have won this race. But it's Card, Robinson, Hughes, Waterman, Haynes, Voice, Can, Devereaux, right? Magnificent stuff. Oh. No, no. I like, I like, I like. Wow, magnificent racing, isn't it? We've got to quickly break because we're going to do a junior saloon race now, but then come straight back because we're going to bring you the pre-66, the pre-83, pre-93, the pre-03. He's going to bring you all of the racing action. Just to confirm, Card, Robinson Hughes, your top three. That was magnificent stuff, was it? I'm Ian Wardenhouse, my supercar, bouncing around with excitement. We'll see you very, very soon.